It's good to practice in extremes. Just so you know where your parameters are. It's like a sprinter. They always know breaking 10 seconds is their goal, but they know where they're at. Sprinters are very scientific in their training, and so should drummers be. So let's say, what's my fastest I could do that late in the evening groove? And make sure that it's a groove, not just speed. Because more speed equals blur. Speed is blur. A lot of drummers play blur. Ah, oh, look how fast they are. Blur. Buddy Rich did it. Louis Belson did it. A lot of the young guys do it. Blur, fast. Well, that's one sound. Blur. Ah, blur. But let's get it below that, where it has the groove still. Right at the edge of what you can do. Already I screwed up, but that's why you practice alone. And then you go absurd if you can for a short period of time, like hellbent fire can't do it. So I back off. And something you can add, you notice how my hand hit as I did the hi-hat? Add that, just for the subtle sense, it's another sound. Got to practice that one. So there's a lot of sounds in there. And remember, it's your creativity that makes it happen. It's not a book. It's not something written. It's you and phrasing and thinking. End of lesson.